morning, video games. Welcome once again to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and also extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you for joining us. My name is Tommy Dasilo and sitting across from me we have... Hello, Filthy Animals. It's Ben Vanell. And sitting to our left and right, respectively, mm-hmm. yes. we have... <laughs> uh, Adam Knox is my name. It was opposite of respectively. Because it was when Tommy first and you, so it'd be right oh, yeah. and left respectively. Yeah. Well, the listeners don't know that. I would have been Start more than again. happy. Start <laughs> again. A clear lack of respect over there. <laughs> that is would clear. Have, would it have the affected- Dangerfield corner. <laughs> <laughs> would it have affected your performance to know for an hour that you that we'd lied to the listeners straight off the bat? I'd have had to turn around to make it true. No, that wouldn't have helped. <laughs> yeah, I'd have, have, have had to, to walk over the other side yeah. of the room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm not doing that. <laughs> we should all record like standing up so we can pace around and stuff. Mm. Uh, it, it makes it worse, I think. When have you done it? I, when I used to do radio stuff, oh. you can stand up. Well, like I worked with people who would stand up and, and talk. Right. And it makes you fidgety and anxious. Okay. I I've been like. a stander when I've recorded in radio studios. I love it. It, it right. varies from person to person, but it's not for me. I see, because I, I work in like sports radio now. Yeah. A lot of the commentators are standing up when they're commentating. Mm. It looks when, fun. If you're commentating, that's probably the right thing to do. Because yeah. you need the energy for that. Yeah. But if you're doing like breakfast radio, you're kind of like, ah, hey, what's going on? Palling around. Yeah. You don't want to be having the attitude of like... Like, look, uh, this is me sitting, <laughs> yes. currently talking like this, and I'll, I won't do anything stupid. Mm. Okay. I won't uh, alter my voice or anything, but let's see if my general demeanor changes <laughs> okay. when I stand up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I notice one thing. <laughs> right, what did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, it, it, yeah, no, I don't like. But this now at all. there's a weird power dynamic. Yeah, you're literally yeah. looking down on us instead of just figuratively, like usually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you need to in breakfast radio. You need to be standing so you've got that mobility, so that when your co-host says something absolutely outrageous, <laughs> you know you can audibly back away. It's like, oh, yes. Whoa. Yeah. That Tommy, don't have a go at breakfast radio like that, fossil. <laughs> They don't do breakfast radio. No, Sam Newman's not up at that age. <laughs> no. uh, at that age, at that time in the morning, he's certainly not up anymore. Not at that is he? age, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about his dick. Um, we right. should plug our live show, which is coming up July mm. the fourteenth at the European Beer Cafe, four p.m. Yes. of a Saturday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, it is going to be wonderful, <laughs> wonderful fun. Yes, and I think. Pretty good shit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Don't you reckon? Uh-huh, 100%. What's I'd like everyone in unison as they walk out to just turn to each other and go, good shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good shit. Yeah. How about that good shit? <laughs> Someone <laughs> on Twitter asked, is it really at 4pm? I think having after already bought the tickets. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was like, it, yeah, why? This must be uh, some after- kind of joke. <laughs> afternoon show, like a matinee. Mm. I guess people could, I, could, I could see why you would think that was a mistype. Right. But no, it's 4. Yeah. But it's actually, nice to have it at four because then you can yeah. hang around afterwards and exactly. have some dinner, have some drinks. Afternoon show, very common in podcast world. Mm. Yeah. Because it's a medium that doesn't yet have the confidence to go up against people's <laughs> mainline Saturday night plans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if you were planning on having dinner anyway, yes. just come to the show and yeah. it, it, won't, it won't ruin it. You can't make a night of the thing that you might listen to on the way to the thing. Yes. Yeah. That's the level of like it's it's a medium that exists best on like public transport. Mm. So mm. you can't make that showy, too showy, but we will. Yeah, we actually are planning to make it a show uh-huh. mm, rather than, yeah, just literally us sitting around talking. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, we're going to sing Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. <laughs> yes. So that's four minutes taken care of, mm-hmm. and we haven't mm-hmm. really thought beyond that. Twelve minutes for my rendition. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? A really long no. solo, like a Mariah Carey solo. I, yeah. Do just some scatting in there? <laughs> it's <laughs> normal pace, but I break for eight minutes in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try standing up at the live show? Ooh, we'll yeah. have to at some point. I guess yeah, to come. Not on. an accessible venue, unfortunately. Mm. Yes, true. I would like to get down those stairs and then not even walk onto the stage. Mm. I'd like to wheel myself out onto the stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, or just be on rollerblades and be like in a in kind of like a crouch position. <laughs> right. Serve you drinks know. throughout from a little tray that you're yes. skating oh, around. Oh yeah, like yeah. a little yes. monkey, <laughs> little little chimp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. This that, is gonna be a hell of a show. That thing from cartoons where there's like an old guy with like an organ thing and mm-hmm. a, and a monkey like banging the cymbals mm-hmm. is that is that real? Is that a thing that's ever happened in the real world? I believe it is. Yeah, it, it surely seems must too good have, to yeah. be true. Yeah, no, no, it's it's true. <laughs> it's one of the few good things in life. Do you think it ever made it to Australia? I don't reckon any. I don't reckon mm. it's ever happened in this country. Mm. I think that's a fair uh, bet. I feel like I've seen some kind of ape at a <laughs> <laughs> at, at a circus. In my time. Oh, okay. Apes or monkeys. 
I feel yeah, like they used right. to be the circuses here, so mm. luckily they're not anymore. Yes. Thankfully, they had all of those chimps put down, <laughs> which was the correct thing to do. <laughs> yeah. What's if you go to like the Ringling Brothers now? Yeah. What are they doing? Are they still? Are they still? You know, monkeying it up. They're just like holding one finger up on one hand and then banging their <laughs> hands together, and the finger changes hand. Oh, very nice. Is what I believe <laughs> yeah. happens. Just someone's uncle comes out and pulls out a two dollar <laughs> coin from behind the ear of every child in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever seen a lion? This is my impression. <laughs> That's all we can do anymore. <laughs> ah, oh, I hope I don't flip out. <laughs> but don't you think like if they're if they're still. They must just not be able to do it anymore because, like, yeah. if there were circuses, there's like, no animals with yeah. animals left. There would be like all these, like you know, super progressive parents that would go down with their children and it's be illegal. like, "Our kids on three, boo!" Yeah. Oh yeah, there is would it be, illegal? It's illegal yeah. in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Right. like yeah. non-progressive police there going like, <laughs> yeah. "You can't." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you think now progressive cops would be the ones who love animal cruelty? Uh, yeah, because eventually, <laughs> if you go too far, you come back around the other end. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh-huh. Is that why I call it a ringmaster? Because it's a ring? Yes, it is. <laughs> and a master. Uh-huh. That's why they call it a ringmaster. <laughs> Thank you, because Daddy. Because if you go too far, you come round the other end and they thought, well, ringmaster it is. <laughs> He's mastered it. Yeah. He's back to the He's start. The There's <laughs> nothing left to learn. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Also, um, <laughs> something. I star. remember being a kid, of course, and going to the zoo with animals in it and not getting it. And being right. like, this rules. What do you and mean then, not get? Oh, right. And then, I thought you meant not getting why they're at. Like, where do fucking animals come from? <laughs> but I don't I understand. My parents taking me to Circus Oz, yeah. which is like ah, yes. a thing that, like, if from early days. Has been the circus version of like, the TV show Oz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. It's like all these, like, French quintuplets, like, fucking stabbing each other in jail. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. But it's a, it's for year, it's been around for years and years and years in Australia, and it's yeah. uh, no animals, and just going with my parents and being like, God, this is the lamest shit of all time yeah. like just you know when you're just like i don't care about the rules i don't care about what's right sure. i just want to see a fucking goddamn dolphin being stuffed into a car yes. I, re- I remember booing horses at a circus because i was like those are regular animals <laughs> <laughs> Boo! they were just riding around the side of the ring while the gremlins theme song played <laughs> wow <laughs> da, 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 da. they're like look at that horses this? are pretty wacky huh <laughs> Like no, horses are normal. <laughs> they're the most Horses are not normal. They're the most standard animal. It like dog is above. Yes, dog is it, the standard. Dog cat horse. <laughs> <laughs> bird underneath. I think bird. I think sparrow is above horse. No, because no, because horses are functional in human society. <laughs> what about cow? Cows are normal, but they're sequestered into certain areas. But horses, I still have the thing in my head of they might ride down the street because they fucking do in Melbourne. Yeah, still. Mm, the police. So, yeah. They, I think and they the they should. Tourists. Yeah, the carriages. No, I hate horses. Oh, they're awful. Horses should be sequestered. Sequestered. <laughs> sequestered. They should be free out in the bush. Yeah, or wherever. Mm. Brumbies <laughs> and and be allowed to you know or a ranch, not necessarily free. Yeah, but medium prison, <laughs> like capitalism provides for all of us. Yeah, okay. You know yeah. what I find weird when you're with someone over the age of like, let's say, fifteen, and you're in a car driving through the country, and someone goes, "Look at those cows." Yes. Who? Like, yeah, we've all seen cows. Do you know what I mean? Like, we all see cows all of the time. I did yeah. that two weeks ago. <laughs> I was yeah. I I do it every time I see a cow because it's really? still like oh yeah. fuck yeah a cow yeah. And yeah. I like cows. I hate yeah. horses. I like cows. Really? Yes. Interesting. I'm not a fan of horses either. My girlfriend yeah. loves horses. Mm-hmm. Big mm-hmm. horse girl. Yeah, uh, right. it's what I call her. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she's really into horses. She grew up in like a horse area in England. Right. Um, and it, it, I think they're the scariest animal. Yes, agreed. They seem to be dumb and f- <laughs> like, easy, like they flip easily. Yeah, yes. You they know? do. Can I think we, they do. Can we talk about Ben being very drunk and hanging out with you and your girlfriend and just repeatedly saying to your girlfriend, wow, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so stupid because it's like, she is tall. She, she must get it a tall. lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I think she, it's she's the like funniest thing. <laughs> just under six foot. Right. And right. you was a four foot eight man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So you, it's very easy to believe that Ben goes, wow, a cow. I just, I love you're it. tall. I love it so much because I think it's like, that's been in my head like most times I've hung out with your girlfriend and I'm like right. don't verbalise it right. don't say it out loud yeah. and then this motherfucker <laughs> over here gets a couple tins in him oh, <laughs> you're it's, tall it's like when, when you like when you have a friend and someone comes up and goes like what's with the foot and right. everyone's like we know about the right. foot right. but don't say not that the tall thing she looks great at that she's height a, she's got to oh. look at the six foot 
Yeah. yeah. You know who's tall? <laughs> Every model in the world. Yeah, right. true. Yeah. yeah. She looks great at that height. So <laughs> yeah. if she if she was like, shorter, she'd look fucked. <laughs> No, I don't know. She, if she lost an inch, she'd be like, ew. It's, it's one of those, she's in proportion correctly. So yeah. it's not you're like, you right, know, yes. when you yeah. see yeah. someone, you're like, you're gangly. Oh, yeah, she's not She's not like a tall, skinny weirdo. No, not she, like a Slender Man type situation. <laughs> Correct. If you saw a photo of her with no other, with nothing else for scale and no other context, <laughs> yes. you'd look at it and go, she could be... She could be anything. Yeah, she could be talking about foot. anything. <laughs> no, but you know, some people it's like I never really look at a photo of something on a white background and go, I know exactly the height of that object. <laughs> I reckon if you saw a photo of me with no context, you'd yeah. go like five foot six. But is, do we have like your shoes as context and shit? Because I feel like mm. even people's clothes, even though they're sized for them, can still look the height that they are. Do you know what I mean? I think that it, yes, I think that my clothes. Uh, the clothes of someone who should be tall. Yeah, well, because yeah. they've got Wiggles logos all over them. <laughs> yeah, I'm the <laughs> same. The clothes of a short man. <laughs> I'm a size 12 shoe, which right. is like weird because I'm, you know, 13 foot a tall. A size 12 Aren't person you? as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I love being tall. <laughs> it must be like, it, is it great? Dude, do you know how often really I great? spin on the top of people's heads and they never know? <laughs> yeah, at least once a week when I come around here. <laughs> Um, You'd know I, when it hit your skin. <laughs> oh, I'm fired at oh, that. We've finally become the little dum dum club. <laughs> the ringmaster is in town. I would love to be tall for like a day. Yeah, uh, it's the same. Really? Yeah. I don't no. think anybody gives a shit about it unless they're not tall. If you're t- like anyone who's tall doesn't give a shit if someone's short. Right. I just think like I, I know there's people that think I'm pretty intolerable, but like <laughs> I just think like imagine if I was tall. Like I'd yeah. be so much worse. Yeah. You don't automatically turn into a dick if you're tall. <laughs> like you're bully. Disagree. <laughs> Listen, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Based on the evidence we have. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're tall. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Um okay, so we gotta we've we we must. <laughs> We must uh, talk about some news yes. from the week. From the world of video games. From the world of video gaming. Yes. Have you had any new languages this week? Uh, oh, I was going to look it up in French before, but it got too late. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone automatically turns off at 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last 12 minutes were just really critical stuff, so I mm. couldn't have done it then. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it okay. as well. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of bloody... Well, there's not a whole bunch of news, but there's a couple of things. There's a couple of very interesting Ben, you, uh, you roved a report <laughs> yeah. earlier. Yes. Uh, so moments before we, we gathered together to do this podcast, mm. I saw a story uh, that is, yeah, pretty big. PUBG is suing Fortnite. They're suing Epic Games mm-hmm. for copyright breach, which is a big deal mm. because Fortnite Battle Royale is now massive. It's, what, as big as PUBG, if not bigger? Fortnite is huge. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's way bigger. Than, I think it's like bigger than any game. Right. It's it's bizarre big. Yes. Uh, and yeah, the article that I read stated that they, I think they thought about suing them in September, brought it up in January and now it's sort of come to light. They're suing them through the Korean court system. Great. Uh, and yeah, it's, I, I guess the way it was phrased was sort of like, we're doing this to see if there is a copyright breach, like to yeah. see if we can prove it. Not necessarily like... We know we've got you. We want the money. This is like when everyone online got mad at the fat Jew for stealing other people's memes. Exactly. It's like, I'm an aggregator. Like, <laughs> they're just like, we just took this thing and we just gave it to more people. Yeah. I mean, it's weird though because, like, I feel like the precedent has already been set in video games that they shouldn't win this case. Right. Yes. Because if they, if they won, that means, like, oh, well, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat shouldn't exist at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Right. Right. The, it's the team deathmatch has to belong to, like, yeah. Unreal or whoever invented it. Like, yeah. they've kind of invented a genre, which, cool. Mm-hmm. And this guy in particular was like the, the the main dude who made it was like one of the early people who made a mod for something and it was yeah player unknown yeah yeah I, well I wish I knew his name <laughs> you never will uh, hopefully the, the lawsuit uncovers his I name I think his name is Ben oh, okay. as well actually but so, uh, cool guy it, it's it's that I I think it would be bad if they won as much as yes. I do think Fortnite literally ripped them off <laughs> yeah it yeah. just sucks for them but there's I don't think there's anything legally they should be able to do about it because it's not an infringement in the way that, like, they haven't made Mocky Mouse, you <laughs> yeah. know, and he's like Mickey yeah. Mouse but blue. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A, a riff on the same idea. Yeah. God, that would be so... And fuck, it's similar, though. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Uh, and it's dog shit what they've done and that they've gotten away with it. Yes. 
But it is different in the way that it plays as well. It's much quicker. It's got the building elements. It's yeah, it looks di- like it's significantly different in its yeah. style. Yeah, it's just that this thing exists as a, shum- a genre now and. Oh well. Yep. God, that would be so good if they won, and then just the floodgates pour open, yeah. and like Miyamoto just going after every character <laughs> that jumps in any video yeah. game. Well, that's <laughs> what it would be, right? Like it would be that. Oh, it'd be fuck you, Super Meat Boy. Mario's yeah. the only one. Yep. Yeah. It, it'd be awful. Yeah. There'd be twelve video games, and that would suck. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like I want at least double that. <laughs> it is. Unfo- it's like unfortunate if you're the PUBG people, but that's just how things work. Like, there's a. There's a thing about uh, the strokes about how, like, maybe I've said this on the show before, Mm. but how you don't want to be the person who opens the door because, like, the strokes, like, all the bands that were influenced by them became a lot bigger than them. Right. And, like, if you're, like... Is that, like, the killers and the hives? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. The killers killers predominantly. But, uh, like, if you open the door, you're working it out and you're dealing with an industry that kind of doesn't know what to do with you and you're, you know, you're you're literally, like, yeah, you're breaking this ground. Yeah. Whereas then the very next band that comes along gets to look at what you've done and go, oh, cool, that's how you do it and that's how to kind of, like, capitalise on it and not implode and not kind of... Like fuck up your early opportunities, right? So, but it'll come around, right? Because where like a, the like, same thing will happen to Fortnite, where someone will just take their blueprint now yep. and like add their own thing onto uh, it. Well, Call of Duty's trying to do that. Yeah, and that's exactly. Yeah. Before it, like even more likely than that is this will flash out, right? Yes. Will fizzle away, totally. Yeah, in the in the same manner that all things like this do. But it, it, like it, it, you know, you can't hold an idea like that forever. Yeah. it's just not. And also, like that, yeah. The reason it's not PUBG is because that thing was very poorly optimized. It was kind mm. of inaccessible. Like, you're right. The Fortnite came along and went, oh, well, the problems with this in terms of mainstream appeal are this and this and this. Yeah. yeah. Let's Pub- fix that. PUBG was literally early access. For, yeah. It probably ha- was early access longer than it's been out officially now. Yeah. I right? mean, it's been around for like a year and a bit. Right. And it's been out since last uh, September, December. I don't know. I don't remember. But end of last year. So it was a garage band <laughs> yeah. for a long time. And yeah. Fortnite's still technically not out yet. Right. I think. Well, it's, um, it's a free It's a free add-on, the Battle Royale. I don't remember. I, I, I still haven't played it. I watched some footage of it the other day. Right. Because I bought a laptop. Oh, and, and wow. wow, you've been sitting yeah. well, on this was for a this while. Like off the top of the show? Because <laughs> it hasn't shown up yet, so I wasn't going to oh, talk about it. Oh, Because cool I haven't actually yeah. used it yet. Right. Um, <laughs> I just left it at the shop, is what <laughs> right. I mean. It hasn't shown <laughs> sure. up yet. Sure. But uh, I, I bought a laptop because I, like, I need to get one because I want there's a bunch of stuff, like work things I want to be able to do yeah. mobile. Yep. And so it's a, a future, good video man. card yeah. affects, affects that. Yep. I found the one like gaming laptop that didn't look like an alien piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And oh, God, they're all so red and awful looking. Yes. yes. This one has some red on it still, but it's a tasteful amount. Okay. Do you feel comfortable saying the brand? It's a Dell. Oh, baby. Laptop, which is a Mac. <laughs> a Dell. The singer. Oh, so you feel confident enough Sky saying that Ad- 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 <laughs> You feel confident enough to say on record that Adele definitely has a Mac. A hundred percent. Hmm, interesting. Mm, okay. Are you kidding me? Any- if anyone can verify this, please of let us know. Of course Adele yeah. has a Mac. There's got to be studio footage, behind the scenes, you know, recording stuff. Dude, where- yeah. Have yeah. you ever seen a PC? <laughs> that guy's a fucking dorky nerd what? with glasses on. <laughs> I smell but a you. Mac is a cool Justin Long type. Okay. I smell another one of our classic polls coming up. <laughs> is Rick Torn <laughs> yes. Alive or Dead? Is Aladdin good or bad? Does <laughs> Adele own a Mac or a PC? Yes. Oh, oh 100% a Mac. Blue, uh, Blueberry's Blue was also in there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been on friends. a real tear lately. Yeah. Yeah, the, um, yeah it's, a, it's a Dell... Inspiron and then a bunch of numbers. Right. Okay. Uh, but the keyboard looks good to type on and the video card is good enough to do. It's, so, yeah. And anyway, it'll be able to play games quite well. And I was right. looking up videos of other people using the same laptop to run stuff. Oh, cool. Right. And right. it seems good. And anyway, Fortnite was one of them. And fuck, it is similar to PUBG. Yeah. But, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, it's aimed at a younger market too, which is fucking paid off. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fortnite seems to have a bit of that, like, kind of a bit like groovier character design <laughs> yes. going on, which yeah. I don't think yeah. looks particularly good to my taste. But I can certainly see how you would look at that and be a bit more, like, a you know, find it a bit more appealing. Yeah. It just, it's like it, Overwatch and then cranked up even more. Yes, into the totally. Yeah. Sort of it, it's community. just more accessible. Looking, they look like the yeah. Incredibles, all of the characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what I think about this lawsuit is that it's just like a power move to be like, I came up with this first. 
I'm not going to win this suit. Is this your closing statement? Yes. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> but I, I genuinely think it's like just a, a being like, I came up with this game first. Now you've got all this money. I just want it on record that I think that I came up with it. And yeah, yeah. From their point of view, whether they win or not, it's the right thing to do because if you you need to challenge every potential copyright mm. infringement mm. that there is. That's why so many like people get mad about uh, Nintendo in particular shutting down all of those like we remade Metroid 2 and all of oh, that yes. sort of stuff. Yep. But they have to do that because if they don't challenge things that infringe their copyright all of the time, they lose it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Like I, I'm not a copyright lawyer. Hmm. And you'd think that would make me not talk about this. <laughs> but, it, yeah. I, sen- you- I sense another closing statement here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what's up? Uh, <laughs> you have played a lawyer, uh, a bumbling lawyer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bad lawyer. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, I, it, it probably won't pan out, but they're right to do it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I think? I think we got to go to Korea and cover this trial. Oh. The trial right. of the century. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that would be so sick, turning up thinking like We hear about gallery. the news in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> thinking like the – like. Thinking that the press gallery is going to be absolutely swamped. Yeah. It's just like literally, it's like the most boring, like yeah. two people in a room and then us like... Just reading out patents, basically. <laughs> tell you what, I think I'm right about this as well. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I might have the number wrong. Fortnite doing like a big sort of year of competition. They laid out like, mm. here's what our competitive shit's going to be for the year in all like the big kind of arena uh, massive esports stuff. A hundred million dollars combined prize pool. Wow. Which is fucking wild. Yeah. yeah. It, that's a, You take it back to like when Counter-Strike was massive and it's like, they want a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it's like, they want yeah. an island. They want it. Yeah, fuck. And we're going to put a hundred of them on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Is that why you got the laptop? So you can like get really good at it and go in for that cool hundred yeah. mil? Dude, I'm the cool runnings of this game. <laughs> <laughs> and my laptop's going to be running cool because oh, it is a powerful shit. beast, oh, baby. Del, I hate give it. us some money. <laughs> but the fan on that thing is fucking loud, dude. Yeah. I think it's quite quiet. They mm. They... Mm. On all the videos, they show you how many decibels and play a little bit of it. I tell you what, when it comes to cooling fans, the videos always lie. They're mm. always loud. Well, no, these are just reviewers. These well, aren't like the company. I'm telling you, these are people who have no I, reason to lie. I think I'm right, and I have, like you, no basis for thinking <laughs> that. <laughs> it's impossible to tell from a video what the actual noise will be yeah. because you can adjust the volume of the video. <laughs> it's much yes. like seeing somebody standing against a blank wall, <laughs> you cannot tell the height or volume. Well, of them. I don't hey, know that's about like that. something I said before. <laughs> uh, you know what I love? Anytime like a new console launches, and then there's that like difficult kind of like month long teething period of mm-hmm. like all these problems out of the box that the maker did not intend and just like the reddit or any message board is just like full of like yeah. people in america going you're having trouble with your fans being real loud because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes. i think my ps is about to take off <laughs> oh, i'll tell you a legitimate fucking grievance along those lines that i had okay. this week can you yeah. do it in that accent <laughs> <laughs> i went back and played some of that dang old day we were talking about that dang old day call of duty day Ooh. Yes, we were, boy. <laughs> I went back, I dug out that old Xbox full circle and I played Call of Duty 4 and I was like, this is the one I liked. I'm yes. going to go back to it like Papa used to make. <laughs> My mama won around when I was growing up. <laughs> so I put it in and yes. I had, I'd done enough Bing searches <laughs> yes. that I had 10 free dollars on the Xbox. Oh. You can do this rewards program thing where you just search stuff on Bing. Wow. And Bing? if you go on there and hit what? semicolon, enter, oh. a second semicolon, enter yeah. 40 times, you get some points. And at the end of the month, you got 10 bucks. Wow. I thought you said, <laughs> I thought you said Bing searches. <laughs> like this is a story Close about enough. you dumpster diving and <laughs> finding $10 <laughs> worth of coins. <laughs> Like out the back of Coles in all the rubbish. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, great story that kind of involves video games, I guess, because I did feel like I was on a quest. (laughs) (laughs) So, but I uh, (laughs) had that $10 and I was playing Call of Duty 4 and it was still good. And I was like, I never bought the map pack for this. Right. I'm going to buy that. It's 10 bucks. I have 10 free bucks. Let's dive in. Yes. And if you have that, you can't match with people who don't have it. And oh, people yeah. on this 10-year-old, 11-year-old game don't have it now because right. they just have the old thing. So I couldn't fucking get it. So I had to go and delete it. <laughs> oh, so it's no. just 10 fucking wasted free dollars. Wow. Oh, so it's like I got zero free dollars. Yeah, from all that work you did. <laughs> I hit that semicolon button so many times. <laughs> this is like a Anyway, Call of Duty 4 is still good. This is like yeah. an Aesop fable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And then I f- fucked a turtle. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not one of the fans. That happens. I came very quickly. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be in Korea. That's gonna be sick. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Love yeah. kimchi. Mm. Mm. Is that where kimchi is from? Yeah, I yeah. actually never knew that. Yeah, yeah, it's a Korean Korean dish. Don't yeah. they traditionally like bury the cabbage to ferment it? No idea. I think they do. Okay. I think I'm. I think I've turned a corner on kimchi. Really? I think I used to like it, and I think I hate it now. <laughs> oh, what? I did something the other day. I was like, yeah, I think I'm off this. That's wow. what happens when you get older. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Stuck in less hate, tolerant of hate kim- kimchi. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now, for anyone listening, I did some air quotes there. <laughs> I didn't even know kim was chi. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> other news: a trailer for uh, Battlefield V or Five. We decided on V last week, I think. Yeah, mm. right. Well, because we haven't heard anyone in the know say it out loud, I guess. Mm. Mm. But Trevor Noah hosted like a oh, thirty he's minute in, long. He's in the Noah. Oh my god! <laughs> Two in a row, boys. Oh, that's sick, dude. I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, dude, go for the hat trick, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, your hat sucks. They only. Uh, You're tall. Shame to miss it on the third. <laughs> they um had some reveal thing and played the a uh, trailer for it that they, was like. Yeah. Kind of aping gameplay, but I think not real gameplay, sort of. But it was, it's World War II. Yep. And the trailer featured a whole bunch of stuff that was more Battlefield looking than World War II looking. Yeah, yeah. Because Battlefield has always been, in reality, a kids playing in the backyard with sticks simulator. Yes. It's never been trying to kind of emulate war, to my mind, properly. Battlefield 1942 was probably the closest. But to that it. had people like jumping on wings and riding around. Yeah. And, like, it was silly. It's always yeah. been silly in the way that you play it. Yeah. Aesthetically, maybe it's been sort of towing the line down. I think in terms of their marketing materials. Yeah. You can't begrudge people for jumping on wings. Yeah. Paul McCartney, <laughs> it's good shit, dude. Are we going to take every Every word <laughs> and just give it its other meaning. You, that's, seems how, that way. that's what podcasts are. It's, it's <laughs> taken us too long to get to this point. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, in 10 years' time, people will look back, back on this as the episode where we really found our groove. <laughs> I agree. Huh. Groove. Sort of like uh, the thing on a record instead of the thing. Oh, that is what you. That is finding the groove. That is oh. literally what he can't that do phrase it. is referencing. He can't do it. That's why he hates it because he can't <laughs> yes. do it. All right, groove. <laughs> It only means one thing. You picked the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wait until it comes up naturally. <laughs> Nat- oh, no. <laughs> The uh, but the, the, so the video has a lot of people jumping out of windows. Yep, uh, a woman in the front lines. Which interesting, you mentioned that. I don't think that's going to uh, come up again in discussion. Mm. I mean, nobody brought it up in the comment sections of these videos. So yeah. it is weird for me to say she's got like a prosthetic arm. Yes, which so the, uh, the prop people are going fucking. Or some people are going fucking nuts about like it's not historically accurate. We care about that now. Yeah, and it, it it's. It's it's a, a smoke screen. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Whether it's a conscious smoke screen or not, I don't think people are literally going. I'm going to lie about the problem I have with this. Yes, I'm yeah. going to say for the past three or four years, anytime anyone brings up historical accuracy as an issue with with a with a, a pop culture product, yeah. it is a smoke screen for being racist. Yeah. I'm going to talk. Sexist. I'm going to talk about it with Detroit later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, in a backwards in the other way. The reverse round. way. I, yeah. there, there have been reverse cases. That are applicable and fair, but yeah, it, racism w- towards white people, for example. <laughs> Reverse racism is the worst thing that's happened. In a, anyway, it's it, the the it you can, there's like fifty thorns in your side if you care about historical accuracy with the battlefield games, yes. and then the thorn that people start crying about is when there's a woman holding a gun. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it seems from someone who is looking at this from kind of not in that group. But you're right. I think with those... Because I couldn't care about the history. I, I would mm. be more interested in a sort of alternate version of World War II, which it kind of seems like they're doing. Right. Yeah. right. But you're right. Like with those people, I don't think they're conscious of it. It's like the people that go, I'm not a racist, but... Like, it's not like they're aware, like, going, this first bit will throw them off the scent right. till I can get to the real racist shit that I know I'm yeah. about to say. It's like, in yeah. their head, with their justification, it's like, well, I, I can't be because my my mailman's Asian. So yeah. how could I possibly be? Sure, or because I'm not an evil person. Yeah. No one thinks they're an evil person. Very few yeah. people and in most the world are truly evil in the way mm. that they think, like, I am evil and I'm doing this. You like can. Thing. I yeah. think we've mentioned yeah. this on this preachy fucking podcast before, <laughs> us bloody libtards. <laughs> but we... <laughs> <laughs> like you can exhibit things that are 
prejudicial mm-hmm. without having a deliberate mental I do not like this subsect of people yeah. thing in your head, which yeah. I feel like is part of it at the very least. And the second part is it's fucking boring to be like that. I don't like yeah. oh, totally. so they're making it ridiculous. Yeah. Like I don't think it's disrespectful to anyone who fought in World War Two. Mm. I re- no. like if you think it's disrespectful, then the very making of the game is disrespectful. Absolutely, yeah. making You're it a fun game challenge. Yeah, is the disrespectful badass, part. Wasting your days by fl- firing up over Reddit is disrespectful to yeah, the people who fought yes, in the war. Why exactly. have we suddenly started talking about me? Because <laughs> <laughs> you we... keep spitting on the top of my head, <laughs> my shiny, shiny head. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't think that it matters, and I think. It's an argument about marketing, which I think is also very fucking pointless and silly Mm. Mm. because the game won't be any different. If it is literally what they showed happening, it's no different from any of the Battlefield games they put out. And so you're arguing about the way that it's being presented to you through marketing, which is a fucking lame-ass way to live. Yes. Yes. Like, it's you shouldn't give a shit about marketing. And the the whole point is to be inclusive to women and probably to have a bunch of female skins for the multiplayer mode. Yeah. And if you're... You have more of a problem with that historical inaccuracy than you do uh, appreciation of the positives, then you are wrong. I I remember seeing a thing that, like, not that you need to... A lot of people, like, suddenly understand feminism and stuff like that when they're like, oh, suddenly I had a daughter and now I get it. Right. But I just saw a comment (laughs) thing that was in the middle of all this stuff of, like, oh, boy, is this game the same as all the other ones? (laughs) Right. And the... This person was like, hey, I, my daughter is like four. She played her first video game with me on the weekend. It was great. But she asked, why can't I play as a girl? And I didn't have an answer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, and that's all it is. It's yeah. not a complicated thing and it doesn't fucking impact anything. Like, if you don't want to play as a woman, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. You know, just go for it. But, like, it, 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 ugh, it's such a boring conversation to have. Of like, no, it was only men at the front. And then people going like, well, actually, there were these like small divisions where they did have this thing. And in yeah, Russia, this happened. Yeah, it, totally. Like, the French resistance had like there are so many examples of. of yeah. yeah. But even bigger than that doesn't matter. Yes. You know, yeah. it's it. Who cares? It's disrespectful <laughs> to what they fought for to not try and be inclusive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Hell yeah. This is going to get gonna us get elected. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to get us a minimum of one really bad iTunes review. <laughs> Bare mi- at least one. Yes. And that person is listening to this right now and they're yeah. like, "Fucking god damn it. Yeah. How can I get these guys back for this fucking rot that they're spewing?" Yeah. <laughs> to one be clear, star. we don't one hate star, more stars <laughs> than any general ever got who was a woman. <laughs> That's historical fact maybe. <laughs> Do you think now when you're a company that like puts out a trailer like this that you're braced for this? Yeah, or do you absolutely. think they're still genuinely caught off guard by no, it? You're braced. You gotta be braced. I yeah. They had yeah. some statements pretty quickly yeah. right. of like, yeah. hey, this is why we're doing this. Yep. <laughs> Just an official letterhead. Shut up and get over it <laughs> in <Yeah>. like <laughs> size thirty six font. Yeah. I, it's yeah. just like there was so many automatic weapons in Battlefield One. And again, it's not the point. But they technically existed then, but they didn't really in any of the yeah. fights. Yeah. And no one ever, like, nothing that happens in these games. Ever, but anyway. Yeah. I think it's worth saying, like, I know we sound angry when we talk about this or aggressive or, or condescending, but it's like, we're not. We're, we're frustrated that there's such a huge outcry and it is huge. I'm embarrassed yeah. more than anything. Yeah. It's, yes. not, it's not anger. It's embarrassment and and boredom yeah because uh, yeah. it it's it sucks to have to justify all this stuff yes. all the time because there's so many people who i can't necessarily say wrongly have this view of video games being yes. this toxic masculine yeah. bullshit thing yeah. and there's heaps of reasons to come to that conclusion totally yeah. and i i and it, don't like having to justify that to people yes. and it sucks when you talk to people who aren't into games that you do a games podcast or that you play games and you yeah. sort of see sometimes like a bit of them go because they're thinking of that because that side of it is like so loud and so noisy yeah. that it's yeah. like, you know, everyone that listens to this show is like really cool and yeah. like really chill. Everyone that we've met after shows that have come to like events that we've done yep. have been like super cool, super easy going, but then there just is this like – the the video that battlefield video has like the ratio of like upvotes to downvotes is like nearly is nearly like I think 50, it's 50. more I think yeah. it's more negative now than yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ right. like yeah. but yeah. it's 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 just silly ultimately as well like it doesn't yeah. matter and I, I don't know I think uh, I like or that it does matter it, it, yeah. it, you know I mean it doesn't matter that the the things that you're saying are negative about it I don't think matters yeah, yeah. I think that it's good I will always 
have the conversation and always talk about it, and especially on this podcast, which has like a lot of listeners and and on our socials, I I will always keep having this conversation though. Yep. And I'd rather if someone doesn't agree with what we're saying right now, send us an email. Like, don't give us a one star review. Send us an email. I will gladly talk to you about it. Yeah, you know, like it's, totally. It's I think it's important to have that oh. dialogue. And some I, people have in the past and been mm. like, hey, here's a side of it. And it's like, cool, well, yep. we don't agree, yep. but cool, thanks for being rational and cool about it. And Absolutely. I, we mean that, I, or at least I mean that thing definitely that like, I'm not saying that you're a bad fucking person or like mm. throwing anyone under a bus if you see that and that's your reaction, but it's important to think about why you might be having that, rea- that reaction. Totally. Yep. Yeah. And, and, you know, if y- you come to the conclusion that like, I guess I started having a problem with it when that ro- woman ran into frame. <laughs> yeah. Think about whether that's because there weren't soldiers then and you're a history buff mm. or because it says something about, you know, your view of what masculinity is or whatever. Oh, I, yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, so, good, yeah, I, uh, I, I think the trailer looks cool, though. Yes. Yeah. Except for the well, fact that they show a type of grass that I know for a fact they don't have in that region. I'm completely on which board. Which is why yeah. I'm sending a car bomb to the developing building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Uh, I think it looks the same as the others, but I have enjoyed the others and I hope this one's good. They've also said that they uh, are taking out any loot box type stuff and yes. there won't be a season pass. It'll just be free maps. Yep. So that's, that's so all. crazy Like that they're doing like a thing that everyone like hates at the moment. Like They're actively going, less money is fine. We just mm, want mm. gamers to be happy and still it's like <laughs> yeah, not good enough. Gamers of all enough. types, yeah. everyone, we want everyone. <laughs> Everyone in here, yeah. and they're like, "No, I'm not buying Cuck Simulator." God. <laughs> God. Anyway, that's coming out uh, later this year. Yep. Uh, what's out now, though? Oh yeah, that we've been playing. Yep. Uh, well, there's a few things. Should we do? What do you wanted to talk about first? Do we want to do? Do we want to do all your guys' bits and pieces, and then we end with? The big, the big one. The big kahuna. Ben yeah. pointed at himself and yeah. went, "The big one." <laughs> almost, almost in my lap. Nah. <laughs> That's a. He did like a, a big claw, <laughs> like a claw, like you like the the crane game. I was trying to gather Nox and I together. Ah, right. Because it's the game that we we've we've played. played. Detroit. We will talk about that later. We'll yep. talk about the other stuff first. Yes. Detroit Rock City, the yeah. long overdue. <laughs> the it's kiss. been in development hell for years and years. The yep. game based on the movie. <laughs> oh yeah, Eight Mile the game. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we can we can do we can do other stuff first. Yeah, do you want to kick us off, Knox? What's uh, yeah? Okay, I played uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Yeah, mm-hmm. some of that. That is the same game as Dark Souls. <laughs> yes, but it is uh, on different consoles and running at a different frame rate. Right. It's still really good. Cool. I still really like that game, but uh, yeah, they haven't really done anything to it beyond like resolution and frame rate and stuff, which it didn't really. Ne- There's uh, well, no, that's not true. They're sort of back third of that game. They rushed. And so it right. would have been cool to take this opportunity to fix that. Right. And to like improve pacing it. wise and uh, like, yeah, the the there's some areas that are just literally copy paste kind of. Right. It right. looks like someone has made a mod or something and just kind of plants plastered stuff in it. It right. gets a little bit half hearted towards the end. It loses some of its uh some of its Essence, some of its core, uh, some of its like um, spirit, spirit, uh, yeah, Momentum? like uh, deep kind of like energy, personality. Like, um, some of its, s- I deflated. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have been so sick if it had just gone silent and we ended the episode <laughs> there. <laughs> just to <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> Door opening and closing. <laughs> Slow a door open, noise. Like, the worst twist. The door opens like, Mr. Knox, your uh, crazy medication is ready. <laughs> 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 what about the other two guys? Mr. Knox, there are no other two guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. People listening just a slow deflate sound and then like the next episode that they've got queued up starts playing. Yes. God, how many tweets would we get? Fuck. Guys, first of all. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's still really good, and if no, if uh, the one positive thing about it being re-released is that all the multiplayer aspects of it are kind of alive again. Oh, that's right. cool. Yeah, all that's the really cool. the little signs around, and right. it's I played it way after the fact originally, so seeing all of that stuff and being able to get involved with that stuff is really cool. So that's on the Switch. Uh, no. It's not on the Switch. Oh yet. right, yet. it's on the. I'm playing it on the PC, and it's also on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Right, but, so um, it was meant to come out on all of them at the same time. We talked about this a few weeks ago, and right. just like very oh, yeah, yeah. suddenly, like very close to release, they were like, "Hey, it's delayed until we don't know when." Yeah, Fuck. a different, a right. different developer boy. is working on the Switch port. 
and that'll be at 30 frames, I believe. But I don't right. think they've confirmed anything yet. But yeah, that'll probably be fine. Yeah. I was watching uh, some donkey videos of it today. Mm. And because I'd never really seen it in action, I was like, this looks cool. I'd, I'd like to play this. But also at the same time watching it. And there's certain bits where I'm like, I do not know how this will go on the Switch. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, I'm playing it with a Switch controller on the PC. Oh, cool. Which mm. is weird because I've had to change the buttons around because the right. A and B are in different places. And my brain has the A on the right. If I'm holding a switch controller, right, right. Yeah. I can't push the bottom button for A. Right, it's it's odd to <laughs> to realize how ingrained that is. But yeah, it's still really really great, and it's certainly I just don't think for everyone still, especially because the first sort of three hours or so of it are are not uh, gentle. Right. Yeah. So it's it took me a few goes originally to really get into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, if it scares you off at first. Don't worry, maybe come back to it later. Sure. It t- just takes a little bit of time to kind of get to grips with the kind of bastard that it is. Okay. Yep. But, um, I, I tried to play Bloodborne. Yeah. And I, only, I, you know, I gave it one try. Like I, I played it for a week on and off, made literally no progress. Yeah. <laughs> and gave up. I, I did a similar thing with Dark Souls years ago. And it took two or three kind of retries to right. really go like, oh, I'm getting this now. Mm-hmm. I'm into the rhythm. And then at that point, you can kind of not put it down type of thing. It's, right. it's really, really good. Right. Uh, and it's like a pretty bare bones remaster, but that game's still great. Mm. Uh, I also played Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this is, is this a vampire werewolf game? No vampires. Or there is a vampire, but it's not. It's uh, So it's the the team that is making the symphony of the night castlevania uh kickstarter right this isn't castlevania but it totally is <laughs> yes. thing uh this is like an 8 bit like the original castlevania games oh. kind of riff yep and it's really fucking fun oh. this is one of their stretch goals for that kickstarter yeah. or something like that yeah, yeah. Oh. it's only 15 bucks yep it's uh like quite a short thing there's like eight levels or something mm-hmm. and it's just like a little fun little kind of teaser for that of like and yep. it it just it it's a, a lot of kind of similar games have come out recently i suppose like the sort of 8 bit influenced action game thing mm. like it's not far from a shovel knight or something like right. that but uh it's super reminiscent i mean it is one of those games and it's pretty straightforward but it's fun it looks nice the music's fucking awesome sick and you kind of switch between uh four different characters that you end up meeting throughout the thing and they each have different weapons and different powers and uh it, it, there's not much to say about it. it's exactly what you would picture it to be right. from right. what it looks like it's yep. an 8-bit style action game yep but it's a very fun one of them great cool. it's quite cheap and it's made me excited for that next one that they're or the proper one that they're doing right, right. What, what did you play it on the switch cool um. Yeah, that's it until Sweet. the until the big boy. Uh. Yeah, I guess so. Until the big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to call it the big boy anymore. <laughs> call it Big Ben. Not nah, worse. <laughs> big boy, it is. <laughs> uh, I played the demo of Sushi Striker mm. on the Switch, which is out uh, in like a week, I think, a bit over a week. Um. So yeah, it's a little puzzle game on the Switch. I did not know that it was going to have such a crazy story. Um, for anyone who played Poyo Poyo Tetris that has that like ridiculous story mode where there's like these little anime cutscenes in between each round of puzzle gaming. Mm-hmm. It's like very similar to that, which in the context of a demo is kind of annoying because you know that like when you get the game, you're just going to have to go through all this stuff again. Mm-hmm. Like for yeah. a demo, it's like just give me some rounds of the puzzle game and let me find out if I like the mechanic of it or not. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's so it's coming out on the 3DS at the same time and it's kind of weird like you – so it has touchscreen controls – uh, when it's on Switch, you can play it with a controller. Mm. But so it's basically these like lines of sushi, these like sushi trains that are going in like alternate directions. So there'll be like six tracks, and you have to like swipe across the screen and match up different kinds. Which oh, yeah. then, uh, so if you get a big enough combo, like all the plates that the sushi was on end up in front of you, and you can then swipe up to throw these plates of sushi at your opponent. And damage them, and they have a health meter that you're trying to deplete. So, like the biggest stacks of plates that you make, the more damage that you'll do, and you make bigger stacks by like getting up different combos. It's um, it's cool. Like it's mm. got a good style. It's a cool little puzzle game. It's like matching stuff is always really fun, and it's got this like different little mechanic in it that's cool. It's like very like 
it's very anime and it's very like kind of like Japanese in its in its presentation. It starts with like a crazy Japanese pop song, um, which is really cool and well done. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to getting the full thing. Uh, I do wonder, like, the very nature of like your you know using these touchscreen controls, it's kind of impossible for your brain not to go like kind of mobile game yeah, comparison. Sure. So I do wonder whether when it comes out, like I'm in and I'm looking forward to getting it and I know I'll enjoy it, but I do wonder if like critically that's going to hurt it when it feels like a kind of a mobile thing and it's coming out at like I think 50 or $60. Like I'd, I'd, I do wonder if that means that people will uh, – I could I could be wrong on that, but I think it's like a full price release. It's, I think it might be a little bit cheaper actually because it's coming out – on the 3DS at the same time. It's, it sounds right. like it's maybe better suited to the 3DS too. De- yeah. So yeah. I was talking to Andrew Levins about this. He's going to maybe go in on the 3DS version because mm. you get the stylus, which yeah. like does give you that different bit of control. Um, yeah. I mean, it works like I'm going to get like I, it comes out like the day before I get a long flight. Yeah. So for sitting on your lap, like in touch screen, it's like perfect thing for that. But yeah, at home on a screen with a with a uh, pro controller, I don't know how it'll go. I'm sure there'll be people that prefer, but that probably prefer that way. But yeah. Um, but that being said, like the the yeah, using your finger to like link up all the sushi and then like chucking plates at people, like it does feel really fun mm. um, on that on that little screen and uh, the style of it is really great. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I've only played a demo. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 excited for it now. I was already looking forward to it, but it's just kind of confirmed. Uh, yeah, the good, I, the good feelings that I had. I accidentally touched the Switch's screen in handheld mode the other day, <laughs> and that reminded me that oh yeah, this thing has a touch screen. Yep. Yeah, I'd completely forgotten. And then like when I touched it, a button push, and I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I tend to, uh, it's good for typing stuff on. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Any way to skip a console's key, like totally. on screen keyboard, is fucking yeah. Not the PS 4s one. I don't. I don't like using the little. Oh no, that's awful. Swiper boy. No, no. that's what he means. That's, like any. Yeah. Oh, you mean the the thing where you the touchpad on the PS4 oh, controller yeah, yeah, yeah. using yeah. that? No, that's bad. Yeah. If it was literally a screen, a touch screen, that'd be great. Yeah. And then that's yeah. the, what is great about the Switch. Or the thing where you like aim the controller. Yeah. Like no. <laughs> the, like Nintendo shooting should, the letters. No, they should you. make something where it has the TV and then like a touch screen that you're holding at the same time. Yeah, that'd be. great. Right. Yeah, that'd yeah. be if they did that. Yeah. If they like, you know, took made it like the switch but better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The switch us or something. Yeah. yeah. Switch switch me. Switch yeah. me. Yeah, switch me. <laughs> and if they had like you could do a Star Fox game on that where like the screen is kind of behind you, but then you're like in the cockpit on the thing. Uh, and I they think should I'm make it dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh I we this is stupid, but before you made the mental comparison of it to a mobile game mm. I was in and now I'm thinking of it as a mobile game I'm out really yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah. well, you know you don't like mobile games but I mean it, it's weird because it has it, it has like a story and there's stuff happening so it kind of I mean if it was a mobile game and it, it's hard to get a sense of like the full package in just the demo yeah but for me like the the mechanics of the actual you know, puzzling itself. Yeah, uh, I'm really into. It and sounds more like just a, like a slot machine to me, like a, like a slot machine kind of spinning them around, but you draw the sevens between them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right. There are other things that kind of come into it. Like you can you can slow down some of the tracks. Uh, you can also you have like a little helper who. I, I, you acquire all these different things. It's kind of got these RPG elements to it where you acquire right. different things that give you different powers in the match. So there's like a meter that you build up and the result of getting to the end of the meter is different for each of these little like kind of helpers that you equip to yourself. So right. some of them, it's like the one I had was you touch it and he turns every all of the sushi on your end into the one color. Oh, yeah. So then you can just really quickly like – Get yep. this huge combo like by just zigzagging across the screen. Right. And I played a little bit with the controller and it does do a pretty good job of moving. It's not like you're aiming a cursor. It's just like you lock on one and then it like shows you the line and you just like go bang and like. Oh, right. that's right. smart. Okay. Right. So it does. It does actually work pretty well. But yeah. Kind of ima- I was going to ask you about kind of imagining like a destiny pointer or whatever. Yeah. Just like yeah. a cursor with you. But that makes a lot more sense to select one and then it shows you a path to the others. Yeah. yeah. If you just decided cool. that you were going to use the controller, I still you st- could still get 
good at it pretty quickly. Right. Like it's not like – it does feel like pretty intuitively, but like it seems like you've sort of got to make the call like when you're going in. I'm either just going to play this in handheld or I'm just going to exclusively play it on the TV and get good with the controller. And this must be like a 3DS game that got transitioned at some point over to Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's – obviously that's a big part of it and – um. I'm, you know, I'm glad that for any like kind of hiccups with maybe it, maybe it gets a bit of a weird ride with reviews or whatever. I'm, I'm glad that they're kind of doing that instead of just like looking at this thing and why are they still supporting the goddamn 3DS? Yep. Why can't I play this yep. fun yeah, puzzle game? Yeah, exactly. The yep. weirder That's thing fair. is that all those other 3DS games aren't coming. Yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, Fucking Warrior where go- oh, whatever. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to play Warrior where on the Switch. Hopefully, yeah. it means they're working on a new one for it. Yeah, I would say that's probably what it means. Yeah. Because that's like a best of thing, but yeah. Mm. What was the other one you said you played? Yo. Okay, so I played. Oh, yeah. it. it just came out today, so I've I've spent not much time with it at all. But it's called Yoku's Island Express. It's Team Seventeen who made Worms, oh, yes. um, and it's been it's been in development for a little while now. It's on the Switch and the PS4, and so that probably means Steam as well. But I could be wrong, but um, so it's a two D platformer. Uh, with a twist. Oh, oh my yes. favorite kind. I love so, twists. I love the Watusi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that if is now would that be female Wario if they ever do such a <laughs> Watusi? Watusi. <laughs> that would be sick. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so it's a platformer crossed with a pinball machine. So you play this little bug who's made his way to an island to become the new um, the new postman. Okay. He uh, is in like a storm on the way there and he's like ship, his ship kind of disintegrates and he wakes up and he's like on the beach tethered to this giant pebble. So you can move him and then you basically get into all these areas where there's flippers that you control with the left and right triggers. Yeah. Um, and they're colour-coded. And so you you have these little kind of platform mechanics where you sort of have to like make your way through and you there's like pickups that you collect um, around the place and so it's like you'll need 30 of this one thing to kind of hit this switch which then opens up a new flipper. So now you can propel yourself up to a bit that you couldn't before. Right. So you kind of you go around, you do these little chores for people and you discover like these like people who go... Uh, we need you to do this, or can you come and do this? If I had a chore that needed done, if I had a task that <laughs> I, an I needed ant. to make sure that happened, I wait until a bug attached <laughs> to a rock came along and I go, ah, oh, you seem trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you, so you kind of, it's kind of a nice mix between these kind of platforming levels where you're propelling yourself around using these flippers and, and there's bumpers and everything that you bounce off. Right. And then every now and then you will end up in a section that is basically just a one screen pinball table that you have something that you have to fulfill on that screen like you know hit this thing four times or actually end up getting yourself around this tunnel and and going back up but it's got this really beautiful style to it it's kind of like this watercolory sort of look um it kind of looks like a it could have been made by nintendo themselves it's got a really charming aesthetic really nice music and um yeah and like I'm I'm very early on in it, but I've never played anything quite like it. It's such a unique kind of take on a platformer, and like I love pinball machines. Mm. So just that that like that thing of like hitting the left trigger and then like all of the blue things that are on the screen at that time, all of them going off. Yeah. Like it, it when, when you get into the rhythm of it, and you kind of you it's 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 kind of difficult to begin with because you'll you know takes you a while to get out of an area because you're still kind of learning the thing of like I have to wait for him to roll right down onto the edge of the flipper but once you kind of get in sync with that it you get it gets pretty satisfying pretty quickly yeah cool um, and it seems like it's a pretty decently sized platforming game with like lots of different areas to unlock as you get more of these little gems and stuff and you know you're fulfilling these little quests and there's like side quests in there um yeah it's 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 really cool it's really interesting awesome. this sounds good yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. really recommend it even yeah. though it's it's it grabbed me like immediately within within two minutes I was like God, this is absolutely my shit. Oh, cool. I'm in love. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's awesome. really, really good. Yeah, got, great. Got, uh, got such a supple wrist. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, it's been 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 yeah. Supple wrist. Yeah, he's yeah. Like such a supple so wrist. How does he do it? Yeah. I don't know. What makes him so good? What? He's singing Pinball Wizard. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, are you having a meltdown or am I having a meltdown? Because I do not know what's going on. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Yoku's on Express. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Sick. Really, really good. Awesome. 
Well, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a few, one more thing. A few good games. <laughs> now let's talk about Detroit Become Human. So this is the Become Human. Oh, that's Love Gun. Sorry. Yes, it is. Become Human. I said it and then I was like, it can't be that. That's too... <laughs> I was telling a, a co-worker today about the game and I was like, it's, oh called, De- it's called Detroit Become Human. It's about these androids who want to become human. Oh, <laughs> I've got some ne- apologies to make. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just ran down the road. By the time you had that realisation, you realised your co-worker had just walked off long ago. <laughs> had bashed me and stolen my lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we won't spoil this, we should say straight away, because this is only narrative, basically. Yes, this game. and I'm only about a third of the way through, yeah. I think. Yeah, I've, I've finished it once, Yep. yep. but... It's a choose your own adventure movie. Yes. So you there's multiple endings and I got you know one variant of it. Sure. Um I don't know where to start with it. Same, right? Like uh, uh so if you don't know anything about it, it's it's a uh, a game by David Cage. He made Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, was yeah. it called? Yeah. Quantic Dream is the name of the studio, which yep. going into this as well, there's some shit about like, or oh, maybe that's not that great of a place to work for. Maybe David Cage is a bit of an ass. Ah, yes. That sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, he made, they have made uh, like a few games. Omicron, The Nomad Soul was uh, the yes. first one, which yep. had David Bowie in it. Yeah. Uh, Fahrenheit. Ah, uh, yes. PS2. Yep. And then Heavy Rain was their like big breakout yep. hit. People were like, oh, it's a grown-up game for grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> There's yeah. a murder in this yeah. game. And a nudity. <laughs> oh, love that. Love that 3D PS2 titty. Yep. Is that wow. the game that has the sequence where you're like being chased? Yes. And like it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Jason's so, so like good. The Jason scene. No, yeah. no. The bit where like you're, there's a bit in Heavy Rain where you're ch- as the detective in it. Oh, yes. Where you can chase, you you have to chase after this person. But the game, the way it works and the way all of these do yeah. is you're playing either kind of a slow walk around thing where you <laughs> yep. can't really walk around that well and you can make your character that your character just looks drunk all the time. Totally. It's it's fixed camera angles and the directions you walk in are relevant to those a- camera angles. Yeah. So <laughs> as soon as it switches angles, you're walking in the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's fucking awful. And even if you're not like trying to maneuver into a small area is just difficult because yeah. they have some um, like weight to yeah. some curvature to how their <laughs> movement happens. So yeah. it looks really goofy for a game that takes itself so fucking seriously. Yeah. Did you ever play a game and there's something in it that makes you think the person who made this hates people who play video games yes. like this. Fucking yes. idiot. It's 100% because yeah. this is closer to a yeah. DVD where you're having to pl- press play again again and again yeah or else because right. if you start like so it'll either be that and like motions where you move the right stick to do most of them uh, which, which is fucking stupid because that controls the camera yes, as well yes so you're trying to do something like pick something up but it doesn't register it half the time and just looks up which yep. is insane <laughs> yep. And yep. Best. Often it's I love like, this game it's like <laughs> stick up and around but it's that's yeah. you've just moved slightly past it with the camera <laughs> angle so now you've just made your character look up and around yeah it's oh, it's the weirdest and then I hate both of you and I love this game <laughs> it <laughs> between that or sort of quick time events where like hit you, circle quickly. Your you classic telltale yep. game, which they do it a lot better. Yeah. So the heavy rain thing, it's it's a perfect example of why I'm sort of enamored with this game though. <laughs> yeah. Because that sequence in heavy rain is you're chasing after somebody and they're like throwing ice cubes in your way in like this market <laughs> and like cards. opening opening crates of chickens <laughs> yes. Yes. and all this stuff. Like and if you miss all of the button prompts, you keep chasing them. Yes. But you just keep getting knocked into shit and yeah. tripping over and it's the most naked gun bullshit. <laughs> yes. And it's so funny because this uh, this game, much like Heavy Rain did, takes itself so drearily seriously. Yes. Yeah, look it up on yeah. YouTube if you haven't seen it. Oh, I've never played the game and I Heavy Rain Chase so sequence much. or something like right. that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. But so yeah, this game same as the others. Yep. That's that is the that's the gameplay. That is yeah. it. That's it's either awkward moving around point and click adventure style but worse because you can't point or click. Yeah. Uh yeah, or, or quick time events. I and thought in, this fucking pinball game was awkward to control. It sounds oh. like a breeze. Yeah. It kind of plays out in a linear fashion but with choke points with, where you can splinter off yes. right. to some extent. Yeah. But it's telltale-ish in the way that a lot of what can change is usually... Uh, Cosmetic. Yeah, not massive. Yeah. There are bits where it does change a lot of stuff. Characters can die. Yes. Things can shift and that's cool in concept. Yep. But the big problem that that places on it narratively is like, okay, so if there are 60 different possible options not all of them are going to hold the same weight or be as good as each other. Yeah. Or, yeah. or for this game that is trying to deal with 
thematic shit. Oh. Not all of them are going to uh, have something to say. Yep. At best. Yep. Even the best ones maybe aren't saying what they have to say in a particularly clever way. Sure. Either. Or they might be completely discounted by the fact that it has to funnel back into a different uh, story path. Yeah. yeah. So you go into these three different... There's three characters who you play as. Yep. Uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus is one of them. Uh, Connor. Cara yep. and Connor. Yep. So kind of a cop, a maid, and like a servant guy for someone else. It's in the future where... Uh, androids are basically like iPhones. Everyone's got an Android. Yep. The whole premise, of, like from a point of view of this being a sci-fi story, it's dog shit. Yeah. This is a terrible <laughs> science fiction story. It is. It's, it's Blade Runner done poorly. Yeah. There's no consistency to any of like this sci-fi world that it has. Yep. It's set 20 years in the future and all of these androids who look and act exactly like humans. Exactly. Uh, people are like, that's not a human. Yeah. Definitely not. And I know that they're trying to say, like, maybe the racism we've had in the real world, they were obviously humans. Like, it's so different. Yeah. It's because yeah. it's everyone and everywhere, and it's <laughs> fucking insane. Yeah. Like, it's all these people walking down the street just throwing their shopping at their Android, being like, pick up my apple, you cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's such a like, that's such an old school approach to sci fi, too. It's like, yes. sci fi films used to be set not that far in the future and like have like robots and all this crazy shit where it's like yeah. 1981 and they're like, by 1999, yes. all of this stuff will be happening. And you sort of don't yeah. see that now because we've learned it's like, mm. okay, we got to set this minimum 100 years in the future like right. 20 years is like wild 20 years is wild and it's and it's not nothing none of the anger is justified in any way <laughs> yeah. it's, it is like someone being like hey someone just gave me an iphone that does all of my work for me yeah and i also like don't need to do anything outside of that it's really helpful yeah. it's nice it's friendly i hate it so I hate it and I resent it and I want it to die. The, yeah. the reason that they give for most of the animosity towards the androids is joblessness. Right. People are unemployed because the androids are doing the jobs now. Except it's given Detroit like an industry back. That's also a big point of the of, of the, the story. It has, and their anger about their their unemployment is not directed at the capitalist system which they are existing in. It's directed at these androids. Like it's yeah. it's yeah. this fucking pack of idiots <laughs> who don't it, it like it's it's so blatantly set up uh. to represent racism rather than to exist within this sci-fi world. Totally. It's going like you don't like how immigrants come and take your jobs, do you? Yeah. But it, but it's that's oh. all it's saying. And the first like half hour or so of it, when you first play as Marcus, yeah, this is towards the start of the game, so I don't count this as a spoiler. But if you want nothing, then you will get nothing from it. <laughs> but it's, I think if you want nothing, it it's a weird game worth giving a shot if you have the money to spare. But otherwise, I don't know. I I even if you have the money to spare, I would say this game is worth the price that you would pay for it if it was a season of a show on a DVD. Yeah, okay, which is yeah. effectively what it is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but so that first sort of half hour, <laughs> you're when you're Marcus, he's like going out and getting paint for his owner, and you're like, there's you see this protest of people going like, no more androids, fuck off androids, yep. and they just get up in your face in the most cartoonish way, like, Ugh. you think you're an android, do you? <laughs> Won't be so robotic when you're on the ground and push you over. Yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> game sounds it's, good as hell. They don't literally say I love that. This. But the dialogue is almost exactly that. It's yeah. the, and I, oh, I, it, God, there are I several this. points during this game where it's so poorly written <laughs> yeah. that I laughed yeah. like a hearty laugh. <laughs> yeah. So some, there's a there's a character. This is again not a spoiler. A character who treats androids poorly, and an android goes, "You think I look like a monster? Maybe the human is the real monster." <laughs> yeah. It's insane, and that's all, that is almost the actual dialogue. <laughs> the the fucking android game ga of the is year. forced to get on the back of the bus. Yes, this right is going to be my start. game of the yeah. year. I'm not even going to play it or watch <laughs> oh, any footage of it whatsoever. So, having said that, as a sci-fi story, it's dog shit. The characters are ridiculous. Blah blah blah. The what, gameplay is annoying. The the world is silly. The, the politics is bad. shallow and, sh <laughs> and terrible. And it, the story is at best nonsensical. <laughs> yes. At worst, it's like aggressively pointless. Of and offensive in, in its politics. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, so been... like unironically, yeah. I think this game is fucking sick. It's been in, a wild in, week in, a, in, in our group in way. chat watching yeah. you guys start to play the game and go back and forth, like really yeah. wrestle with, really, really wrestle with your thoughts on this game. I, yeah. it's, I never got swept up in the stuff with The Room. 
Right. I yeah. always thought it was just a bad movie and it was kind of sad. Yeah, right. it yeah. always just made I I was never able to laugh at it because it made me feel bad. Yeah. But this <laughs> has so much money put into it yeah. and so much ego. Yes. Clearly, it's yes. so smug yeah. that watching it fail <laughs> again and again and again in the most massive and expensive looking way <laughs> yeah. is so satisfying. Yeah. And then it, as a, like a pulpy kind of story, I got invested in it. So I'm starting to get invested in it. Yeah. Some of the acting I, I was is pretty a, good. A day ago, a day ago, I would have said all of those criticisms and left it at that. Today, I'm like, yeah, I'm still starting to get me. See, it's <laughs> a roller coaster. There yeah. was a point, and it took it. It's, it took me about eleven hours to finish it, something like that, or right. about a season of a show. Yeah, right. And by like the fourth hour, <laughs> yeah. which is probably about where you're up to. Yeah, I was like. Oh yeah, sick. yeah. Because stuff, <laughs> really stupid stuff, starts to happen. It's crazy, and you get to make pretty big decisions about yep. it and yep. drive it in this way. It has some of the thing of like La Noire, where sometimes it's got like the one word conversation things. Yes, and you'll be like, oh, I guess I want to say notebook, and they'll go like, where's my fucking notebook? <laughs> yes. like, oh well, that's not the tone I assumed it was gonna have. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do you think it's gonna be like you compared it to the room? Like he's gonna come out in like a month's time and be like, yeah, it's meant to be stupid. It's meant to <laughs> nah. be fucked. I did well, this all. Deliberately, it's getting good reviews. Right, it's get it's got like eight out of tens. People right. are liking yeah. it because it's presented yeah. very well. It's it's visually amazing. One of yeah. the best games I've played in terms of visuals. It's um, incredible. The, in, the interfaces look good. Yeah, if not um like feel good necessarily. Yeah, the detail is fucking insane. Like yes. it, is, it it looks maybe the best out of any video game. I would have said that about God of War a month ago. Yeah, yeah. And this is just like, it looks incredible. Uh, Except for when any characters smile. Which yeah. thankfully they don't have cause to very often because <laughs> yeah. it's a depressing game. But I think the voice acting is good. Yeah, I think it's 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 probably yeah. Oh, maybe like the, the acting, best. acting, the, yeah. the sort of police partner, I thought yep. was great, and yes. the whole police storyline was my favorite. Yeah, I. But it's it's so weird. It's so dumb in so many ways. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it is this fucking like overblown self assuredness that it has. We, uh, you said I don't know if we said it yet. Self serious. It's we, completely self. It's it's self serious, and yeah. it and it doesn't have any awareness of its faults. Yes, which are plentiful. Like <laughs> it, 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 it it's going like, look at me, but it's got its pants down. Like it's <laughs> completely. It's, it's that completely. <laughs> yeah. I, it's like Adam Knox on the first night of comedy festival. <laughs> yes. uh, I heard a comparison. Yes. This isn't me, but I think this is perfect. It's watching a rich, stuffy billionaire slip on banana peels constantly <laughs> again yes. and again, and yeah. he keeps getting up and going like, bah, 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 nobody laugh, and then slips on another banana yeah. peel. It's and it's that, and it's yeah. really fucking engaging. Yeah. Right, and uh, like it, but the faults are just so glaring. Like yeah. for something that is basically talking about racism the whole yes. time. It exists. It seems to exist in an alternate universe where genuine racism never really happened. <laughs> yeah, yes. There's yeah. one reference to it from one character who right. is essentially Harriet Tubman. Right. And she's like, you know, my people went through something similar a while back, but no one else is going to talk about that even once during this story. Yeah. There's like news on TV all the time, mm -hmm. like that sort of kind of half ass world building of like having yep. a news channel on in the corner being like, World War Three, maybe. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> the news never goes like all this Android stuff pretty similar to, to <laughs> yeah. they're asking for civil rights has that happened before we yeah. put them on in the back of the bus literally yeah. it's weird like... that this is happening again <laughs> yeah. I, it's, yeah. uh, uh, there's no comparison to it, but like <laughs> and also like there's there's parts of it where the gaminess of it is at odds with what it's trying to portray. Yes, so like, so we we talked a bit about it off air, Knox. That like, and I think you mentioned it to Tommy as well in the group chat. That do, there's domestic violence in this game early on. Early on, it's and serious. It's, it's it's literally your. <laughs> it literally brings up a prop saying "mash circle." Yes, and <laughs> the, the, yeah. the, like that. If if you were making a joke about video games, yeah, that would well, be. Well, one well, you what was it? Game. It was press X, press X to to mourn. Wasn't it? Uh, pay, to pay, pay respect. Pay respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's that, but worse. <laughs> it's like it's really silly, but it's part of what at like every single part of this dumb roller coaster. It's like being on a roller coaster that you feel safe on, but is falling apart around you. Like yeah. I can't believe they built this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, I it's crazy. <laughs> it sounds is, like a hell of an experience. It's also crazy to me that it is getting majority very positive reviews. Right. I don't know what I would rate it if I had to give it a number. Because in yeah. terms of my enjoyment with it, I, I 
enjoyed it and found it more engrossing than any game this year other than God of War. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It really got its dumbass hooks into me for no reason that it intended. Like, so this is telling, I, again, this isn't a, a spoiler, I don't think. There's a survey mm. that you can do optionally <laughs> yeah. at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. And it's nothing to do with sort of what happens in the game, but there's just some questions of like, um, oh, well, it is, but it's not directly. It, it, but there's questions early on of like, uh, if it happened, do you think you'd ever consider a relationship with an android? Uh, do you think that technology could be a threat to human beings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Questions like that. And then it, towards the end, it goes like, did any of the events in uh, Detroit Become Human resonate with you personally? And you can either say uh, most of them. Mm -hmm. Occasionally it happened. Uh, once or yep. no. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it tells you the percentage of what other people have voted. Right. 87% of people went, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. And I think they're right. Yeah, less as the game went on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it. It's it's so weird, but I genuinely ended up enjoying the pace of it. Yeah, and sure. the kind of the the um uh, like rollicking nature builds up. Rollicking right. isn't the right word, but it ends up having this kind of. You want to see it, where it all it's, goes. It's a page turner. It's a Dan Brown page turner. Totally. And you end okay. up feeling ownership over your choices. Right. Right. Even if they are you know, by the nature of what it is, to some extent, uh, surface level for a lot of them. But some of them aren't. Mm. You do end up, you know, being invested in that and knowing that you can fuck up yeah. uh, is is cool. I See, I think my main issue, apart from the awful story and politics and social commentary, is that is all of the, like, move the stick right to wash the bench. Yeah, get rid of all of that, and I'd be much more endeared to this game much more that, quickly. So that's what I was about to ask. Would you enjoy? Do you think you would enjoy it more or as much if it was like literally just a TV show, or would you have watched the pilot and gone fuck this? This is stupid. I would have gone fuck this because oh, it depends. It's a, mm. no, it's so tied into what it is. It okay. has to have those options. Right. It has to be able to fall apart. <laughs> yeah. In in those weird dumb ways that right. like shouldn't have been able to happen, like. And it's basically, yeah, it might be better if it was just like Dragon's Lair. Yes. Where a circle popped up sometimes and you had to hit it. Yeah. Right. But it does make you... And for, like, I understand that you're doing those and it's meant to feel boring and laborious. Right. But it's not fun to do still. Yeah. Like, if your point is to get across of like, look, you're being a servant, huh? Doesn't this feel bad? It's like, yeah, of course it does. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I have to do it five times? You've really <laughs> rubbed it in now. Yeah. And like, exactly. It's the same with everything where every message that it's trying to send is so bludgeoning you over the head yeah. that they're not effective because they aren't say It's not got anything complicated to say I, as well. I genuinely think the, the um, ham-handed way in which it uh, adds those superficial gameplay elements to those messages, minimizes the seriousness of the messages. Well, and it's just, they're, they're all just the most base level interpretation of that stuff as well. It's yep. like, man, we're all literally indentured servants. Yep. We have to literally revolt, maybe. <laughs> yes. And it it's all so, uh, it's not metaphorical. Like, it's a metaphor in the sense that they're androids instead of humans. Right. But whatever. The commentary can be boiled down to, like, press X to have a revolution. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Press circle if racism bad. Yeah. Square, square, square. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's like, oh, it's a game where you get to make these big choices and then one of those choices is literally having you fill out a survey. <laughs> like, that's so yeah. funny. Yeah. The, yeah, it's... It, 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 oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, don't buy it at full price. Right. Yeah. Because it... I'd, as much as you can go back and replay it for different endings and whatever, I don't think you'd, there's any real chance of me doing that for several years. I think it's too tedious to play for me to do that because I've done it with Telltale Games. I want to go through with someone else. Yeah, right. I want to watch somebody else do it. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Yes, I agree. Yes. Uh, but again, if it weren't for this show, I wouldn't have paid 80 bucks <laughs> for it. We could try yes. and do like a Let's Play of it at some point when we oh, get off yeah. our fat keisters and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's uh, so weird and I love it and it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Six out of ten. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's I, it's it's a, such an aberration. It's such a different yeah type of thing to to most games. Like it's, it's so high in production values. Like it's incredible. It's if Telltale Games looked like this, they'd yeah. be the best games. Yeah, yeah right. It, it, but it, it just it <laughs> it can't 
follow through on any of the ideas that are in its design document other than good graphics. Yes. Right. But it's endearing about it. <laughs> yeah. And the acting is really good. Yeah, I do like the For the most acting. part. Not yeah, really yeah. good, but it's portrayed so well in its in its trend in its um in being turned from humans into uh yeah. Graphics. Yes. <laughs> whatever that <laughs> motion capture in, in the in the capture of it, yeah, yeah. is there are it's scenes, really effective. especially the cop scenes. I think these are the best ones because they are so tropey. Mm. They and and so visually, you know, well well executed. You feel like you're watching at some points a good cop show, a, a yeah. sci-fi channel original. Yeah, yeah. You well, know, yeah, it, yeah. It's that sort of thing. And I th- I think the guy who plays uh, the cop guy, Clancy Brown. He's oh he's, no, that Connor. Yeah, right. Connor is the is young guy. Yeah, the best android out of the three. Sure, I think. Yep. Um, Kara is also good. I like both of them. I wasn't into Marcus. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, it, like, oh, I, I won't talk about it in specifics, <laughs> but <laughs> some of the shit it does with its, with the sci-fi element of it especially is awful. <laughs> it makes no internal sense. <laughs> right. It's got no fucking consistency to it at all. It's, it's like, and it would have been challenged. People would have gone like, oh, this doesn't make sense with this. And you could almost hear fucking David Cage going like, who cares? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's about racism. Don't you get it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sure. Fucking get it, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's a funny old life. <laughs> That's what they should have called it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we got to oh, wrap. No, yeah, th- no, this, this is, this is, uh, just one other thing I want to say. There's one part on in a, on a news channel where they go like, the first Android written novel has been published today. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty crazy one. It's called Do Humans Dream of Sheep? Oh, my uh, God. It's, like that. it's that. Uh. It's Do Humans Dream of Biological Sheep, I almost think it's called. Oh, God. It's, it's incredible. The most fucking It's literally a bad script. version of Blade Runner. It, yeah. it is this joke of a script that they have put $300 million into. Yeah, that's it so yeah. good. Yeah. That's All right, crazy. I'm I'm keen to hear what our listeners thought mm. of it. If you played it, I like I genuinely mean it when I say that I really enjoyed it and mm. like it. But it's bad. <laughs> God, yeah, I'd love to hear what people think. Yeah. of this game, and that's yep. the one bit of feedback on this episode that I am looking forward to getting. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, we got to wrap it up for yeah. another week. Uh, some good reviews in there, some interesting stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes, let us know what you've been playing. Mm. We will be back next week with E3 predictions. Yes, we will. That's very exciting. And then, and then E3 is the week after that. E3 is yeah. the week after ah. that, yeah. It's all happening. Nice. So, guys, get on the socials and stuff. Filthycasuals.com.au for links to our live show tickets, yes. uh, all the social medias and stuff like that. Keep in touch. We love hearing from you guys. Thank you for joining us. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals, Bonjour Video de Matin, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Should be Bonsoir. It'd be Bonjour. 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 Bon Scott. <laughs>